you too. I've been battling with this topic for a while now because both halves of the arguments offer very good discernments on why subbed is better or why dubbed is better. And it all boils down to personal preference. If you're the type of person who wants to be able to enjoy an anime, but you have to get up and do other things, you gotta, you know what I'm saying, clean, or you gotta do some homework, and you just like having the anime in the background, because it's still an anime that you like, but you don't want to be, have to sit there and dedicate your 100% undivided time to that show because it's in another language, then, you know, dubbed is your personal preference. If you're like me and you love subbed because you like to be the most current and up to date because let's be honest how many animes can we count on our hands where the subbed and the dubbed ran parallel to each other the whole time very few if any the last one i can think of is uh a comic got killed the episode one subbed and episode one dubbed ran at the exact same time but nonetheless it's this argument that people on the subbed have that I have the most issue with. Not so much with the dubbed, because the dubbed people, they just love English or whatever language it's supposed to be in for you. It doesn't just have to be English. If it's in your language, it's considered dubbed. But people on the subbed side always have this one argument that gets me. And I really wanna talk about that now because it, it just gets under my skin. And it gets under my skin because the argument, in case you don't know, is it's the argument when they explain why subbed is better than dubbed. Oh, subbed is better than dubbed because you can hear more emotion in their voice. <sighs> y'all, let me tell y'all this. I'm going to tell y'all this just like it was told to me because I want y'all to be able to get this full picture as to why it's just not true. Unless, unless there's one exception. If you speak that language naturally, fluently, organically, right? So in case of Japanese anime, if you're fluent in Japanese or you're just bilingual and you speak Japanese and English or Japanese and whatever your second language is, but if you speak Japanese fluently enough to where you can just hear it and you know what they're talking about, then you can discern emotion in the voice. But if you're like 99% of Western, uh, Western civilization, you don't know Japanese. You bank. <laughs> you bank on them having subtitles at the bottom to the point to where they could translate it wrong and you would have no idea that it was translated wrong that that's how much we bank on subtitles um and we give our full trust to whoever is translating it now the reason that theory exists is because to us it sounds like they're speaking with a lot of emotion and that's understandable considering they're talking in a language we have no knowledge of but, you know, I have a few friends who are Japanese. They sp they're bilingual. They speak Japanese and English both fluently. They were raised in America and they just know it. Like, they don't question it. They don't have to translate it. It's just known. And they told me there's no way that you as a non-Japanese speaker can accurately tell me what emotion is being conveyed in their voice. There's no way. That's something that only comes with knowing the language and growing up in that culture and in that environment. Because there are certain things that are said and it just amongst cultures that's understood to that culture. And they use this as an example for me and I want y'all to know this example as well. They watched, I forgot the name of the anime, but they were watching a, a, an anime that was originally, it, it wasn't Japanese, right? It, I think it was um, a Chinese anime. Um, doesn't matter. It was a Chinese anime that they were watching and they realized that they have no idea what's going on, right? Because they're not Chinese, completely different language, different culture. So when they were watching it, they realized they don't know what's going on. And they gave me this test. They said, turn on a Japanese anime, raw subtitles, turn it up loud enough for you to hear, walk into another room and let it play and you tell me what emotion they're conveying from the other room with no subtitles to go off of, no animation via pictures and stuff like that, no picture, no subtitles, go into the next room, tell me what emotion they're, they're conveying. Unless it's one of the basic three emotions, which is, you know, happiness, anger, or sorrow that you can go off of because of, you know, pitch of the voice. And what I mean by that is if somebody's yelling, they're probably gonna be mad. If somebody's crying and you hear like crying going on, that crying voice, then you can easily say that they're sad. But other than that, you can't pick up passion or, or, or sarcasm 
or 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 uh, those other sub emotions that that fall down after you get past the basic emotions. People talk shit about other people all the time in another language. They could be talking about you on the train, on the bus, at school, in another whole another language. You have no idea what they're saying at all. You're just gonna remain ignorant because you can't pick up that emotion in their voice. And when they told me this, I was like, wow, that makes complete sense when you explain it like that. And it took them watching an anime that was dubbed in Chinese, I'm not dubbed, uh, an anime that had Chinese voice actors, or maybe it was Korean voice actors, but I'm pretty sure it was Chinese voice actors. It took them watching a show that was not in their language for them to be like, yo, I have no idea what type of, what, what they're, what, I mean, they know what they're saying because of the titles, but this whole notion that they have more passion or more emotion when they deliver the lines. That's just trash. If that's the case, then Japan's voice actors are oh, just completely in another realm, but that's just unlikely. And my friends told me there are Japanese voice actors that we know to be trash. Just like here in America, when we see a certain actor's name come up, we know, okay, th this, this is going to be an, a fire movie, i.e. Will Smith, Denzel Washington, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio a fire movie or we're gonna get a trash subpar movie that they were clearly balling on a budget I'm not gonna name any names but you know I'm sure you can think of a few and that's just one of the notions there's truly when it comes to dub there's really nothing wrong with dubbed if dubbed I would prefer to be able to multitask when I'm watching an anime like I would write to I would like to write my own book I would like to take some notes uh, if I'm doing a review on something but I can't do that because if I look down to write a note or type up a note, I gotta pause the I gotta pause the show. I gotta pause the movie. There is really nothing wrong with dub in all actuality, right? Do we need more adequate voice actors? There's nothing wrong with the voice actors. I feel as though there's something wrong with their willingness to do it. You see what I'm saying? Like voice actors, there's not the most amount of money to be made in voice acting, so their incentive to put on the best performances is lackluster. I feel as though if you're a voice actor, you should love what you do and love anime. You shouldn't just do it just for the paycheck, but you know, hey, to each their own. You can make a living however you want. Have I heard terrible American voice actors? Yes, <laughs> of course. But my friend said the exact same thing to me when it comes to Japanese voice actors. The only difference is I don't know them because up until a certain point, it does sound like they're speaking with more passion. It really does. But I just knew that to not be the case. And once my friends told me about that and gave me those, you know what I'm saying, those um, aha moments that only came about when they watched an anime that wasn't in either language that they knew. I said it earlier, if you walk into another room with that anime playing, tell me what emotion is being conveyed. Tell me what they're even talking about, first of all, before you even get to emotion, right? But nonetheless, um, that's a little rant that I wanted to go on. I mean, tell me what you think in the comment section. Like, Hugo, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Of course, they speak with more passion. You can easily tell uh, what type of emotions being conveyed. You're full of horse shit. Or if you feel as though, Hugo, I never thought of it like that. Now that you've explained it like that, it makes complete sense. And I may have or may have not been wrong. Or if you're just neutral and you feel, look, I don't care what it is dubbed subbed i'll watch it all that's all i got for y'all today subscribe if you're new comment like share it helps me out greatly and like always keep it safe for rapid tight i'm out